Hi, I'm Chris from the Hypro Service Department. Today I'll be showing you the disassembly and reassembly of a 5330C-HRX twin piston pump. Some of the tools required to work on these would be a 916 socket, a flat blade screwdriver, a 316 allen, a long bolt, a claw hammer, and it's also helpful to have a 1055-0005 roller for putting the packings in, though it's not absolutely necessary. You can still repair it without it. And we've got some specialty tools listed in your owner's manual that are helpful, but if you don't have access to them, it, it's still possible to work on it without those. Let's get started. The 5300 series is available with a variety of seal materials and performance to suit your application needs. It's also available with a hollow shaft or a solid shaft. And there's identification stamped on the end of each of these pump shafts. So you can call our tech support line if you need to identify your pump model. If the pump is leaking, you'll have a visual indicator from this area back here. And if there, if there is fluid leaking back here, you'll need to disassemble the pump and repair it with new seals. The first thing we'll do is remove the heads by taking out the 916 bolts. To remove the cup, which is underneath this cup spreader, you want to turn the keyway of the shaft facing straight up reason being is that when you take out this center bolt this connecting rod is going to turn in there and if the QA is up then it won't shear off that grease fitting if you do break it off you can just drill it out under the center bolt is a small seal washer you want to replace that Remove the cup spreader by gently prying it out with a screwdriver, being careful not to damage it. There's an o-ring seal inside of that. And this is your cup. If this cup is worn or melted or has deep vertical grooves in it, that would cause a leak in this area. Also, if you've got vertical scratches or pitting inside of this sleeve, that would also cause a leak. I'll show you a better look at that in a minute here. This bottom part under the cup can be taken out with a screwdriver. You want to try to get it out from the center and be careful not to scratch the inside of this sleeve. Under that is another O-ring, seal ring, and there's a guide down in the bottom. You want to inspect all of those parts for wear or damage. Next thing we can flip it over and take apart the other side. Before you take apart the other side, make sure you remember to turn that keyway back straight up so you don't break this fitting off. Both the top and bottom are the same as far as the seals and the part stack. Notice that the valves are actually opposite from the other side. We'll get into that a little later. If you have some difficulty getting this piece out, you can pull this grease fitting out, take this retaining ring off in front of the bearing, push the whole bearing and shaft assembly out first, and then you'll have better access to be able to get in there and get that out. It is possible to replace the seal kit without removing the shaft, but if you have a hard time getting that out, that's one way that you can do it.
Another thing you can do to get this out, once the other side is out, you can actually turn the crankshaft back in a down position. And you've got a little bit of room underneath to be able to get in there and loosen it up. You just want to be very careful not to damage that graphite guide that sits down in there. Now we can remove the shaft and remove the sleeves. The grease fitting is a press fit into the cam bearing. So to remove that, take your claw hammer and just pull that straight out. You probably want to replace that when we reassemble it. And then on the other side is this retaining ring. You want to get behind this with a screwdriver, being careful not to damage this bearing, and you can twist that right out. Now we can go to the press and push out the shaft and bearings.